some of the most successful owners, operators that I've met yeah. in this industry kind of has like these naturally yeah. built in, you know, side blinders where they just, they put these blinders on and they're just it's running a race. Their race. race. That's the thing. You don't know what's going on behind <laughs> you. That's you, you have no idea. That's, that's exactly you know, me. I didn't know they were doing that. I'm yeah, just that's exactly me right now. Like as, as you said too, like for me, um, the way I operate my business, I'm just in my little box and we're just like, you know, like everyone's full force. And the best thing that I think I can do for my staff is to train them yes. and make sure they get updated regularly because a lot of salespeople that I do hire that I've had in the past, they don't want to change. No. And that's the problem that I see happening with a lot of people in this industry. They don't want to change at all. Like even as you salespeople. Know, I, 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 and especially with salespeople, right? And um, I actually, I struggle understanding that. You know, I, I usually try to do a really good job of just being open yeah. and understanding, you know, other people's truths. Because I understand it's just their truth. You know, but I, I do truly under, don't understand the concept behind the fear of change. It's like, um, but but I think that's just because we're running a marathon and we're, we got the blinder on, we're running a race. It's like we almost just kind of embrace it. We expect that it's going to happen. And when that hurdle comes, we're just going to jump over it. We're just yeah. going to continue yeah. to move forward. We're just waiting to see right. what comes towards you. So, so yeah. like for us, that's kind of built in. But how do you train someone? I mean, I'm, I'm just curious your thoughts of like, how do, how, how do you train someone to put those blinders on and not be afraid of, of change, but rather embrace it. The thing with my staff is, especially my sales guys, mm -hmm. I try to keep them motivated. Yeah. And I try to assist them and help them and guide them. At the end of the day, everybody's their own individual. There's only so much you can do for a person. Sure. But having the right staff is very important. Like for some individuals, they're afraid to get rid of their someone that's been there for them for 15 years, but they're useless. Just because the fact that they've been there for 15 years doesn't mean that they're good. It just means that they've been working for you for that long. And for me, I love change. And I think some of the best things that happened to my company is, was because of change. Sure. Because you don't want to be at the same level that you will always been. And these changes will happen with that's a good point. big movements. When you embrace the change, you actually grow through it. And exactly. you almost got the next level up. And you know, like a video game, you just kind of like go to the next level. Always improve the change. And that's, as I said, like it's hard to change because we're just, as humans, we're kind of used to what works for us. And if it's working, don't change it. But sometimes if you kind of take an educated step towards something and yeah. basically see the benefits that's going to bring you, you will dedicate your time to make the change. A hundred percent. 